That's, the, that, that's what we've got to do. We've got to cleanse the air. We talked about this in part one, right? All the stuff flying around, like if you look up at that light right there, okay? Do you see all the stuff flying around in the light? You're breathing that in. Why can we not allow that stuff that we're breathing in to make it to the lungs? The alveolar sac. We don't have any way to fight it off. In other words, the immune system, the ability for the immune system to take care of these irritants or stuff that would be a foreign particle is very little in that alveolar sac. And if we got it down in that alveolar sac, that's not good. Not good at all. So, we try to get as much of it out up here as we can. If something begins to make it to right here roughly, what do you begin to do? <coughs> right? Okay? So, the goal, make sure that we can get as much of it out up here. And right now, that's a lot because we got a lot of stuff taking place in the air around us right now. I don't know about y'all, but I had like a dark blue car. My car's now green, <laughs> okay? And I'm like thinking about washing it, but I'm hoping it's gonna rain tomorrow and they can wash it for me and turn it back to somewhat of a blue car, dark blue car. I don't know, right now I just refer to it as the blue green car. So, as we look at the structure, the structure we meet something called the pharynx. Now, the pharynx, one of the things that's happening, that's getting air from that nasal cavity. But what else begins to make it into the way of the pharynx? Because we not only have the opening now of this nasal cavity, what other opening do we have? The mouth. So at this point, we now have other obstructions that could come in. Is that correct? Because we have to, I mean, a lot of us, you know, don't you love it when you're close to one of the mouth breathers? You know, it's like I want, it's like I want to go over and, you know, and like breathe. But hey, I understand. Okay, I get it. So we have air that goes through there, but we've also got food, we've also got the drink. Okay, so as we move into this area with the pharynx, okay, we have what's termed the naso, the oro, the laryngo, these sections of the pharynx. All right, so if we come over here, and I didn't realize that it was going to be such a bad picture about blowing it up like I did, okay? Um, if we come over here, note they're showing us the area of the pharynx. So, nasopharynx. See the close connection with the nasal region, okay? Pseudostratified columnar epithelium. Does that ring a bell? Anybody? Anybody? Ring a bell. I won't be like the teacher of a Ferris Bueller. Anybody? Anybody? How? Well, one of our tissues that we studied. Okay, pseudostratified. What does that term tell me? Pseudo is what? False. false. Stratified with more than one layer. So it looks like it has false layers. You guys remember that? Okay. Columnar. What does that tell me? The shape. So it's letting me know it looks like the columns, like it's got more than one column, but it's only one. Okay. Do you remember this? What do the goblet cells do? 
secrete mucus. So in this region, the structure that we have, okay, is producing mucus. In this structure, this has the good, very good ability to capture or help us move this debris that we're getting exposed to. So we can find that from this area, we're going to have mucus and debris that we can swallow down without it moving into the lungs. And if we swallow it down, it goes to the stomach, and the stomach gets exposed to the acid, and if there was anything there, chances are it's going to be taken care of. Does that make sense? We have our openings in this region to the auditory tubes. What is special about the opening to the auditory tubes? First of all, what do the auditory tubes go to? Our ear. Our ear. Special or general senses? Special senses. What were the special senses for the ear? There were two. Hearing and equilibrium. Of those two, what is this going to contribute to? Equilibrium. Equilibrium. So that tells me that that helps with the air pressure, equalizing the air pressure. Does that make sense? The floor of it, the soft palate, the back of the mouth, way back there. I'm not pointing to it, y'all. Okay. And then you got that little piece, that hole that falls down, the uvula. Okay. Don't you love how people might use that term wrong? Okay. <laughs> and basically, the little part that's hanging off. Don't ask me if it's like a true, like, function for that little piece hanging down. I thought that was the epiglottis, but they didn't call it that anymore. No, no, no. The uvula is the little piece hanging down. The epiglottis is going to be over the um, windpipe. My um, mom had hers removed because she was a really bad snore, and so the doctor said it might help because it was, like, flapping. So she got it removed. She still snored, but it was weirder. 